uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so today we will solve these two problem uh, like this is frequently asked in analog design interview okay so basically these two circuit are like look like like almost similar okay but there is some difference so i will solve these two circuit in this session so you can interpret uh, like like more more deeply okay so basically we have a rc circuit with current current inputs we can see and the current input is a step step of 10 milli ampere okay so solve this first first problem okay so we can see that the capacitor is initially uncharged okay cap is initially uncharged so we know that at time t equals 0 t equals 0 plus the the frequency is infinite right the capacitor acts as a short circuit so okay this is our v out waveform okay so this is our v out this is our t okay so capacitor is short circuit mid so the at t equals 0 the output is 0 okay so output is 0 there is no problem and at steady state at steady state that is t equals infinity the cap is open circuit right cap is open open circuit so the impedance is infinite of this capacitor so we can see that this will be open circuit so the picture will be look like this right so this is open circuit and this is our current okay so this is our v out with respect to ground right so this is ground so we can see that there is no current flowing through this branch like outer branch outer branch means the r1 and c branch like there is no current at steady state so what will be the voltage drop across r r1 so this will be zero right so basically this is like the voltage drop is zero across r so this the resistance will be short circuit right so this is our point so actually we have seen that the at at steady state this voltage actually our output voltage right this is plus and this is minus so what will be the voltage drop across r2 so this is nothing but i into r2 right so this is our steady state v out right so let's say this is our steady state output Th that is nothing but 10 milli into into 10 milli ampere into let's say r2 okay so we are not concerned about those act like the like the numerical values okay but the question is what will be the wave shape, wave shape in between in between this okay like the initial and the steady state the time between the initial and the steady state what will be the wave shape so we can see that whenever the time increases like this is a constant current right up to uh, like in this branch but actually the capacitor not having a constant current because because the uh, the capacitive impedance is increasing when the time increases right when the time increases the capacitor capacitive impedance is increasing so this path this path is filling like the uh, this path is filling uh, higher impedance right higher impedance like the imp impedance is increasing with, rest with with time so actually if the impedance is increasing in this path then there is no there is not a constant like constant current flowing through this path right so how to leave the how to leave the shape of the output so this will be exponential right so this will be a exponential charging of the capacitor right because like like the mo mo main motive is like there is there is a constant current in this one branch in this branch or in this branch there is a there is not a constant current right so the the capacitor will charge exponentially like this okay so this will be the waveform this will be the final waveform so another way you can interpret this problem is that we can see that this branch like this segment is we can be converted into a Thevenin's equivalent right like we can do the source transformation theorem like we can use source transformation theorem right so if we convert this norton equivalent to a thevenin equivalent so then the circuit will be looking like this right so this will be our r2 this will be r1 and this will be a capacitor and this will be our v out and the voltage will be nothing but i times r2 right so this is plus and this is minus and this is our r2 and this is our r1 so this becomes and r2 and r1 is parallel right so this will make a like the equivalent r right so the circuit is becomes normal rc circuit with a voltage source right so we know that the rc circuit with a voltage source the response will be a exponential right so this will be our 
uh, final waveform. So this is how we can solve this circuit. Now come into the second circuit. Okay. So we can see that similar case, almost similar case, a constant current is flowing through resistance R, right? But there is a like in the output, there the load is a parallel combination of a resistor and a capacitor. So what we can do? We know that. Okay, let wait for a minute. Please wait for a minute. Okay, so uh, let's solve the second question. So we, we have seen that the waveform will be nothing but this, right? We have seen that. And the maximum output voltage is nothing but I into R2. And this will be our response for this circuit. Now we can see that a constant current is flowing through this R1. Okay. So at, we know that and the capacitor is initially uncharged. Okay. Initially uncharged. So at, so at T equals 0. This is our T, right? So at T equals 0, the capacitor is short, so the output voltage is 0. So there is no confusion. And at a steady state, the capacitor is open circuit, right? We know that. So what will be the output? So output will be nothing but, so uh, so this will be nothing but the voltage drop across the R2, right? So this will be nothing but I into R2. So here the same case is happening. The, in, the, yeah, the, uh, uh, the steady state value will be nothing but this i into r2 so let's say this is i into r2 okay so now what will be the nature like in in this time like in this time duration okay so we know that the capacitive impedance is increasing when the time increases okay so there is a constant current but in these two branch the there is no not flowing a constant current okay the current is changing so the capacitor will charge exponentially okay so the capacitor will be charged exponentially like this okay actually the circuit is different but the input is same and the output is same we can see that like this is our circuit right this is our let's say this is our x and this is our x the circuit is different but the input and the output nature is the same so this is the interpretation of the of this circuit, true circuit okay so this is how we can find directly like like intuitively okay writing no, so, so much kcl and kbs like doing laplace like we, we don't like that right we we need some intuition to solve this type of circuit okay so okay so thank you everyone and uh, sorry for the interruption between these videos okay so, so if uh, like give your valuable feedback okay thank you